as I'm more comfortable um, talking during this time of the church calendar year about stewardship, but I think that idea that God is the one with the corner on ownership and we're the ones who are stewards of, of all of the wonderful things that he has given us really, really helps um, me be able to talk about it. So I think based on all of the time, talent, and treasure givings, so generous givings of our congregation, we've been able to do so much and there's so much opportunity with the vision and mission that we have in the future as we continue to find where best to plug in our time, how best to use our time, how best to use all of the talents God's given us to strengthen those talents and apply them to you know, doing good work um, in our own congregation, in our communities, and in our world. And then the treasures piece, I always thought of as money, and that's a big part. You need money to get things done, but it's also caring or being good stewards of our world, being part of a green team here, or um, being good stewards of the people God puts in our path friendships, our community, our families, um, all of those things, being a good steward of all that God has given us in those respects too, in addition to money. So I think some of the things that I've seen at our um, in our own congregation that have been so helpful are um, our English as, as a second language, having the coffee conversations so we get a chance to interact with and support, work with International Institute of St. Louis to really help welcome people new to our city. Um, in a warm and friendly way. Our cards ministry, being able to reach out through cards for people who are going through a difficult time, I think is a wonderful ministry. Cards Across the Heartland is a synod-based outreach, so that time and talents really enters in as well as treasures in really helping to make everyone feel welcome in our church, even the most marginalized. So I think there are so many things that are strong points of our community and our church that we're doing and would really encourage everyone to have that conversation with God and really think, how can I discern what I'm meant to do to really move things forward? And I, I would just end with a, a Bible verse, 1 Peter 4. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen.